Okay guys, I'm going to teach you how to make this LiPo battery to USB adapter. Um, I put it inside a little Altoids um, Smalls 10, uh, which is optional. Um, but uh, well, let's uh, see how to make this thing. Uh, if you're into RC and you have these uh, batteries laying around, um, and if you're out the field or you're out of the house and you want to charge your cell phone or charge your iPod or something that uses a USB connection. I'm going to show you how you can make something to uh, charge it via your LiPo battery. As far as tools for the job, you're going to need some wire strippers. Uh, for really small wires, you might need some really small wire strippers or you could use a knife. Some sort of voltmeter or multimeter to test your output voltage. Optionally, you might want to use a soldering iron and soldering gun and some solder and heat shrink for your connections. So first thing you're going to need is your LiPo batteries. And of course, you got to make sure that uh, for your device, your phone, your iPod or whatever has a USB attachment to it. You're going to want to purchase a 5 volt UBC. You want to make sure that it is 5 volts. You'll need a USB type A female connector. You can use any one that you might be have, have laying around. Um, I just have a USB extension cable and I'm just going to be cutting this um, female connector off the end. You'll need a servo female connector. You can, um, if you have an extra, just a female lying around, you can use that. Uh, you will need wires on the end of it. Um, you could also just take a servo extension cable like this that has a female and a male on the end and just cut off the female end right here. This is the end that you're going to need. So first I'm going to give you a quick overview of how your connections are going to be made. Um, you start with your LiPo battery. You want to make sure you have a LiPo that works with the UBC that you um, purchase. Um, this UBC should work for either a two or three cell LiPo battery. Um, so your connection is going to go from your LiPo into your UBEC. And then from your UBEC, I'm going to go into your female servo lead. And then from your female servo lead, you're going to just, this is going to connect into your USB, which I don't have soldered yet. And that's going to go from the female USB connector into the male USB A connector that goes to your device. So the first thing, the first connection that we're going to have to make is we're going to have to connect the battery to the UBEC. So what you want to do is when you get your UBEC, it may or may not have a battery connector on it. I already have a Dean's connector um, on my UBEC, but you could definitely put any connector, XT60, JST, or whatever on there to fit your battery. You just want to make sure that you have the positive and the negative connectors right. So when you plug in your battery, you have the, the reds together and the blacks together. So the next thing that you need to do is take your female servo connector and it's going to have to get connected into the ESC servo, the male servo connector. If you buy a uh, extension, a servo extension, you just want to cut the extension. You'll have a male on this side, the female on this side. Cut it. Um, you have three wires instead of two wires like this one. You only need the black wire on the end. Sometimes it's brown um, and then the red wire. So this will be the, the red wire is your um, it's going to be a 5 volts uh, positive and then the black wire is going to be a brown. So you just cut cut your wire if you need to 
and then you just make that connection into the BEC. So the next thing that we have to do is we have to take, we've got five volts on the red and a black is the ground. We have to get that to go into our female USB connector here. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut off this connector, maybe leave a few inches of wire so that we can strip it back. Cut that wire. So now I'm left with just my female connector and a few inches. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to strip the outside insulation on this wire. Okay, I've stripped the outside insulation on the wire. You can see I've got four wires inside. Um, typically the red and black wires are the ones you're going to want to use to connect to your servo lead. So now I'm going to strip a little bit of the red and black wires back so that I can connect them to my servo lead. Okay, I stripped a little bit of the red and black back, but probably about an inch. Now you also want to take the servo lead and strip maybe an inch back on the red and black wires. Okay, so now we're going to have to connect the red and black wires between the servo lead and the USB cable. Uh, this will require some soldering, uh, or at least I recommend that you solder them. Uh, if you're not comfortable with soldering, you could probably um, connect them, twist them together. But you'll have a much more reliable uh, connection if you can solder them together. So as you can see, I went ahead and connected the red to the red, the black to the black from my server lead to my USB connector. So at this point you want to hook everything that you have uh, we've done so far. You want to hook it up and we're going to test the uh, output on our USB connector and make sure it's correct. So we're going to connect our UBEC to our LiPo battery and then we're going to connect the servo lead on our UBEC into our female servo lead. And then we, and then we have to take this uh, connector here and make sure that we're getting 5 volts output. So you take your, your uh, multimeter and you set it to your DC voltage setting. So what you're going to want to do is take your multimeter and you're going to check two pins on your USB female connector. On the rightmost pin you should have plus 5 volts and on the leftmost pin you should have uh, your ground. So um, we should read a positive 5 volts once we have this hook, hooked together. Okay guys, so you can see I have it hooked up there and you can see 5.2 volts. Okay guys, it's the moment of truth. We're going to hook this up and make sure you please make sure that you test this, um, test those pins before you do this because um, I don't want you to fry your device. But uh, we're going to go ahead and connect this together and uh, if you take a look at my phone here you can see in the upper right corner it is the battery is charging okay guys so well thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video and please be sure to leave your comments and feedback below thank you